up guys good morning welcome to a brand new vlog if you're new what's up my name is ivy and if you're not welcome back to the channel i got up bright eyed and bushy tailed i'm finally starting to get my schedule back in order which i'm very 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 happy about i think i talked to you guys in another vlog about how i just felt very detached and also I've told you guys again that Trevor's work schedule has been really weird and he hasn't been work like at physical work a lot so it's weird for me because I'm used to being by myself most of the time and now Trevor's at home so I'm trying to balance like spending time with him and also doing work stuff and vlogging and all of the things right now I'm actually heating him up some pasta that I made yesterday and I'm trying to figure out what we need for groceries. I went through the fridge with Trevor yesterday and we do need a couple things. I have a couple things that are on my list. I also want to try and look for recipes so that we can change it up a little bit. I feel like I've been getting really bored. I don't know if you guys are the same way, especially because of the new year. I feel like I get really, really, really bored with my meals and I don't know I just want something different also <laughs> I don't know why I've been talking about this for a couple months but it depends really what it is but chicken and certain meats have been making me very like eh. and don't say don't comment oh you might be pregnant because this has been happening literally for ever, ever like seven months <laughs> probably longer <laughs> and so definitely not pregnant or i would have been very far along in my journey at this point but no that what what'd you say I said I'm he said i'm trying no we're not we're not trying <laughs> anyways <laughs> i'm trying to figure out what we're gonna make for meals so this is normally what i do give me your recommendations down below on what you guys do to come up with new meals or how you find new meals let your girl know because i'm struggling too i normally watch tiktok and kind of go off of there and then if i like a meal i will save it i actually started doing this thing where i will put it in my notes app i have a lot of things in my notes app thank god for the notes app honestly on iphone but what i started doing was i put a thing for meal ideas and if i see a tiktok on it so like i have fish and then like whatever it is and chicken beef so this is what it's looking like right now for my meal ideas. I have obviously, I will put the name of it and then if I, if it's specifically a TikTok, I will link the TikTok just so it's easier so that I can reference like, oh, I wanted to make this. Let me click on it. I'm going to probably do a little bit more research, aka watch TikTok and see if I can find a couple more meals that I'm wanting to make. Give me your recommendations on what you do when you get bored like do you go on pinterest do you go on tiktok do you ask people for new recipes like let your girl know because i am struggling <laughs> we're gonna sit over here since trevor is eating and he's like relaxing so let's look do you have any tiktok like meals that you've seen it's not like a meal though, it was like a cool, like, fun thing to try. It's, mm -hmm. uh, fried deviled eggs. Fried deviled eggs? Yeah. I don't know if that sounds good. <laughs> no, the video is pretty interesting. Oh, I see them. I see what you're, what you sent. We're figuring out what we're gonna eat for dinner. On this side, I had, like, old stuff that's on my fridge, and normally I always have, like, a list but I'm still adding on to the list also this will give you guys a good idea so if you ever see TikToks, then you can like save them on a list because I just randomly had this idea and Trevor doesn't have an iPhone so I can't share the what does that mean? I can't share the the note with you with iPhones you can have two collabor co collaborators on a note so you both can add things did you not know that no. Yeah. We'll continue. I need to make a list of more things that I'm going to grab at the grocery store. But no, I wasn't sad. We were watching Lock and Key. We're kind of upset. We were kind... The last episode, I was just ready for it to end. I was getting so bored. 
And I don't know if anybody else felt like that. If you guys watched Lock and Key, let me know. Because the last episode, I was just already like, I was like, it needs to end now. I was just annoyed at that point. Because I just felt like thing after thing, I was like, y'all are being stupid. If you haven't watched Lock and Key, I mean, it's a good show. I highly recommend watching it. It was just like the, the last episode, I was just already annoyed. I wanted it to end. So we'll see what Trevor and I start next because if you guys know us, we are junkies for good TV. Yeah. Also, we already finished Yellowstone, the season, and it's supposed to... I don't even know when it's supposed to come back. I'm upset about it. October. October? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't say that to me. <laughs> and then we were watching Big Sky, but Big Sky, new episodes don't come out until February. Uh, yeah, so I'm sad. So I don't have anything to watch and I need to figure out my life. If you guys have any of your favorite shows that came out, let your girl know down below in the comments because I need new recommendations. I have still yet to go to the grocery store, but Trevor and I ordered pizzas because one, I was hungry and two, I was just, I don't know why. I never crave pizza, but I started, don't judge me for this because some people are like, pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. I think it does. Anyways, anywho, I was that person too until I had it and now I think it's amazing. So I ordered uh, Hawaiian Lovers. We were just talking about the fact that thanks to Amy, shout out Amy because she watches my vlogs, but she has HBO Max and we were talking, okay, we were talking about how cute Selena Gomez is. Ugh. Selena Gomez is. We were watching like this video of her, her cooking show on HBO Max and my heart was just warm. I think I like her so much because we watched Only Murders in the Building. Yeah. And that's such a good show. If you guys have not watched that, it's on Hulu. Exclusively on Hulu. But it is so good. Like, we loved it. And you, that's how you know we loved it so much. Me and Trevor have talked about watching it again. That's how much we loved it. Also, they are currently filming season two in New York. And I'm so excited. I was telling Trevor that we need to sign into HBO Max because I actually want to watch her cooking show. And my sister and I were literally just, like, kind of obsessing over her just because she's so, like, I don't know. She's so, like, not humble, but she's so just cute. Like, do you ever, like, look at at celebrities and you're like, oh, you're just so cute. That's how I feel. And also, I know that there's a lot of other shows on HBO Max that we've never seen before, which I'm down for. But we're going to eat in a little while. We're going to go pick up the pizza. I do not like going into the grocery store hungry because then I want to buy everything so I figured let's go ahead and eat first before I go to the grocery store Trevor has to go back to work at three which is very random but yeah. he's gonna go up there for a little while and then we'll see how long he's up there and I think go to the grocery store today I don't know most likely today I finished editing a vlog this morning I've had a very productive morning I was just talking to Trevor like two days ago about how I really wanted to get back on my schedule because I feel like I was so used to having my schedule a specific type of way and I feel like in the last month especially with like all the holidays I've been really off of that so I'm glad to have like pretty much like a really productive work day she we just got home from grabbing the pizza I think this one's mine. Okay. We're gonna sit here and watch Selena and Chef on HBO Max because we've never seen it before. Oh, <laughs> Trevor likes eating his pizza with marinara, like literally dipping it. Not my thing, but he likes dipping his entire piece of pizza in marinara. So he always puts it in my clear mug. I'm excited. I wonder how many seasons she has. Uh, I love to cook. Ludo, take one. Except I have no idea what to do or how to do it. I can't even fix eggs properly. So while I've been stuck at home, I thought what better time to improve my skills in the kitchen. So I've asked some of the best chefs to school me. That's what I'm learning today. They're at home. I'm at home. Okay. And we're gonna see if we can make a meal together. Hello, hello. Apart. Hello everyone. Good afternoon, it's 2 p.m. I have spent most of my morning editing the clean with me that you guys already saw. 
And now I'm gonna get ready for the day. I did not go grocery shopping yesterday. I also have yet to find a reasonably priced planner and the planner that I had last year I found at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but I did find it in Dallas. So I think what I'm gonna attempt to do since I did go, I don't know why, but the Marshalls in Temple always seems to be like, not the best inventory so maybe i'm thinking about going to georgetown soon and going to that tj maxx because i have a feeling i would actually find planners there instead of at marshall's we'll see i'll cross my fingers but we might be going and scoping out some more stuff but i definitely do need to go grocery shopping i need milk i need eggs i don't have i have a list i have a whole list if you're not a list person, I highly, highly, highly suggest putting a list on your phone. It makes my life so much easier. But I'm going to get ready right now for my day. We're going to go grocery shopping soon because it's going to rain tomorrow. So it's going to be a super, super, super gloomy day. So I'm planning on going to the grocery store. I'm going to make sure if we need anything else. I told you guys that I have a list of stuff that I'm needing. So I have like pretty substantial list of things that I want to grab that's the plan we're gonna go to HEB and I'll take you guys along with me because I feel like I haven't taken you guys to the grocery store in a while so let's go it's actually really cold outside so I think I'm going to put one more layer on I bought a couple coats at dirt cheap last time I was there at a really 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 good price I think I got them for less than 10 bucks so I think I'm gonna pair that onto my outfit but right now this is what i'm working with i have a regular pair of jeans on a long sleeve black shirt and normal jewelry i'm glad i finally found my earrings i haven't worn this trench out yet i still actually have the tag on it i'm gonna take it off i bought this at dirt cheap like three weeks ago and i'm kind of in love with it it's kind of a raincoat but she's really really long and I love it I feel like it just makes me look a lot more put together than I am and I love it it definitely does need a press but I just feel like I don't know if she's the move what do we think I decided to keep the trench on just because I feel like she's the look and I feel like I don't have anything that's more like business casual Trevor called me Inspector Gadget. Well, go, go, Gadget to your room, Trevor. <laughs> anyway, I think it's cute. Also, when we come back, I have to have a conversation with you guys about a very, very, very important topic. Popcorn. So, <laughs> let me <laughs> get my life together. And then we'll go grocery shopping. She's speaking up, do you? What are we gonna watch? <laughs> until this weekend. Maybe it is the weekend. No, I'm saying wait until this weekend because tomorrow it's gonna be a rainy day. Oh, well, but yeah. A rainy day would be the perfect day to go to the movies, correct? Yep. We're gonna do a grocery haul together. I'm gonna start out with what I have right here. Obviously, you guys can have a little bit of a sneak peek pack there because Trevor um, took a lot of the stuff out of the bag, which is fine. So we got fresh corn that's still in the husks so we got four things of corn they actually have them at heb two for a dollar so that's why we got them like this and some garlic because we ran out and two oranges i like having oranges in the house they actually i i don't know if you guys know this but i was obsessed with oranges pretty sure you guys knew because i used to take them to the beach in hawaii like all the time so that was my obsession, and still is. Yeah. These are nice. I know, I'm excited to have those. I got a little thing of Nutella just because I started making, like, mini pancakes in the morning, and I like having Nutella on my pancakes. Got a thing of potatoes. We're gonna, we're planning on making baked potatoes this week for meals. Sorry, y'all, the beeping is me heating up food. Oh, what the heck? Oh, the alfalfa a little bit. <laughs> 
Trevor, this is his favorite. This is like the store brand of Captain Crunch. So he always gets that. We finally got eggs. If you guys know, you know if you watch the vlogs. But our eggs were actually frozen. I don't know if like our freezer was just too cold. Not sure. But we finally got new eggs. This grocery trip was very much needed. And we also got nighttime medicine. We're Neither one of us are sick. We actually feel... Probably the best I've felt like in a really long time, but I always like having medicine in the house Obviously, I went through it when I was sick a couple weeks ago did not have COVID It was just a really 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 bad cold. I like having that in the house as a just-in-case Also, I've been wanting fabric softener. So this is just the HEB brand fabric softener We have a blanket that I want to add more of this too to get it back to it's like super soft states i'm a good husband i specifically wrapped this pan in aluminum foil so y'all didn't have to hear it all the way in the back of the house wow <laughs> i'm so done anyways we're going to make these like s'more type cookie things that i saw on pinterest if i can find the recipe i will link it down below just remind me but i got like this marshmallow fluff and also i obviously needed chocolate so i bought like big things of chocolate for that and i'm gonna share with people in my life also coconut oil okay we're gonna talk about this in a second but i needed coconut oil because i found this thing that like you can make movie theater style popcorn at home can you grab it so that we can show them yes it's called flavicol and it's supposed to make your popcorn taste like movie theater and they said that the best way to get it that way is to add coconut oil so we got some coconut oil i was already wanting coconut oil in the past so i got some of this so that we can make that together and i also got some gin ramen you guys know my sister actually put me onto this. This is like super spicy. This is a super spicy one. So whenever I'm having like a craving for ramen, I actually had ramen with my sister, like traditional, like really good ramen with my sister a couple weeks ago. And ever since then, I've been having cravings for it. So really good. Obviously, this is not like that type of ramen. This is just easy at home, but I really like the flavor of this and it's very, very spicy. We also grabbed some extra gravy packets. I know you can make gravy from scratch, but this is just easy when we're in a pinch and we don't feel like doing all that extra stuff. I've actually never had turkey, cra turkey gravy before. I have chicken gravy in there. Our go-to is like the regular brown gravy. But I have this one from Boston Market that I love. So if any of you guys know any recipes for a Boston, Boston Market type-esque gravy, let your girl know because... I love it. We got Trevor's favorite chocolate milk. It's the H-E-B brand chocolate milk. I've had this before and it's actually really good. So props to Trevor for grabbing this. He wants to make some breakfast burritos. We couldn't make any because obviously we didn't have any eggs. But we got some butter tortillas. I'll show you guys in a second. I've talked about this so many times. But if you have not already gotten the butter tortillas, these specifically from H-E-B and you're in the area, buy these i've put so many of my friends onto them and they smell amazing and then this is for me i actually this is my favorite ice cream it's the toasted almond fudge ice cream i really love almonds if you guys didn't know that and so this is kind of like rocky road just minus the marshmallows my favorite part of rocky road was always almonds anyways and there are like pretty whole almonds in here ever wanted to try this chobani if you guys know we actually buy like a really big pack of Jab chobani flips at sam's but he really wanted to try this specific flavor so he got the i think that's peanut butter cup we really needed butter so we just got a pack of the four sticks however this is his favorite juice is the tropicana pineapple mango juice and i couldn't find my favorite ocean spray juice this is actually the crayon mango but normally i get the crayon watermelon and it's bomb if you guys have never tried it try it it's definitely bomb trevor's favorite ice cream is the chocolate chip cookie dough so he got some bluebell while we were at the store this thing is huge though we did get some salad i got baby spinach because i have a couple recipes that i'm going to use spinach in and then just a regular basic garden salad 
And with that, I got some grape tomatoes just because I like to baby tomatoes in my salad. And I have a couple recipes that I kind of want to add tomatoes to. We got some bananas just because I want to make a couple like easy style desserts with bananas. And also I like them in my smoothies. And we were also running out of cinnamon. Guys, these containers are really, really nice. They are HEB brand. I think they're only $2. And this is a glass container and there's a sticker in the front so when you're done with the with this specific seasoning if you want to like use it for something else you can and also when you open it up it does have like the holes to use it as a shaker and funny enough trevor and i actually just found a huge pack of these at quick lots so in the next house we are definitely going to be implementing something like this for our seasonings but i just got some cinnamon i just wanted to talk about that because i thought it was really cool Trevor really wanted vanilla wafers, so he got that for himself just as, like, little cookies. Okay, this is random. I never buy canned refried beans, like, ever, ever. But I saw ever. I always make my own. But I saw this recipe on TikTok of, like, these tacos that I kind of want to make. And they had, like, something sim similar to this. But these are the H-E-B refried charro beans. And I checked all of the ingredients and I liked everything that was in it. Basically the same thing I put in my charro beans. So I got that for tacos. If you guys want, I will record me making those tacos. But we'll see. And then last stuff. I got some more popcorn kernels because I'm planning on making popcorn. And I want, got lasagna because I saw videos on a recipe that I want to try. So we got that. And then last thing was a protein peanut and almond bar. And then that was it for our grocery haul. We got a lot of stuff. We spent about 70 bucks on all of the groceries. But it was all stuff we definitely needed to restock on. So there's your little grocery haul. Now that the office actually looks good, the only thing I have in here really is this bag with my stuff for shooting content. We are going to go through my purse and put everything in here. Let's see what's inside here because I honestly don't even know what's inside my purse. I already changed into like comfy sweats for the night. I have my Trader Joe's hand sanitizer. It's grapefruit and lemon. I have my wallet in here, my birth control, love that for me. More little hand sanitizers, I have a couple tampons. I have a lot of receipts in here. This is actually the Spider-Man No Way Home. Some lip gloss, oh, BC powder, I have to have that with me always. If you guys don't know what BC powder is, it basically is like if you have a headache or it's kind of like an aspirin but it's just ground up so it makes you it makes it hit you faster so i normally use it when i have a headache and it takes my headaches away so fast if you guys haven't already i talked about this on instagram already but the nyx butter glosses are amazing the this is in fudge me and then i have the morphe madison beer collection and i think this is in mars yeah in Mars. I love to keep lots of like lip glosses and stuff in here. I always keep extra camera batteries. This is actually one that's from Amazon and these come in handy. I have more lip stuff, lifter gloss, soft matte lip cream, another NYX butter gloss. This one's in cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll went viral on TikTok and rightfully so because this is an amazing color especially if you have a deeper skin tone it would look amazing on you and this is my favorite lip liner it's in natural yeah it's a nyx retractable lip liner those are great and i actually got this at target it's a kristen s like little perfume and it smells like her products so i think they sell these online you might want to look but i got it and it's perfect because it just goes straight in your bag this should not be a surprise to anybody else i have another nyx and another <laughs> charger for my camera oh i was gonna say i don't know what this goes to but it definitely goes to my hand sanitizer and last but not least i think that's all that's in here is my clicker for when i'm taking photos when I'm out and about so I always keep my clicker with me and then in this little pouch I always keep a lip balm with me this is the Vaseline 
lip therapy and it's in cocoa butter and it smells amazing she's empty now also i found this bag at dirt cheap like months ago and i just saw it and it's back at target and it was for 18 dollars. and if i'm not mistaken i think i got that for six at dirt cheap so again don't sleep on it and then this is my new bag I still had not put my stuff in it, mainly just because I didn't have time. I've been so busy. Here's my cute bag. If you guys want the link to this, let me know and I'll put it down below. I actually got it on Amazon and I love it. I'm excited to organize everything. I think I'm going to put my lip balm in here like how I had it on my other bag. So I think actually a couple lip products could fit in here. So let's put like that one and maybe one of my NYX ones in here. I just don't like how... It goes all the way down because I feel like actually the next one I don't think is going to fit. Yeah, it's going to be too tall, unfortunately. You guys saw I have two of these. One is a little front pouch and then there's the back pouch. Let's figure out how I want to arrange this. For sure, in the big pouch, I'm thinking <clears throat> my wallet for the front one. Let's do all of like my lip products because I feel like that'll be really accessible i should not be on my period for a couple more weeks so i'm gonna put this actually in my bathroom i always have to have my bc powder with me because i get chronic headaches especially if i wear my contacts for too long oh i also like how this one has like a little pouch in here in the front and then also like a zipper in the back put my bc powder in the little pouch i always keep these guys with me so i'm gonna leave that at the bottom make sure to put my little sanitizers that just in case I have my little clicker in there my birth control and ready to go now we set it up together. I haven't done this in forever and I haven't had like a cute, I don't know, I feel like this bag really like represents me, so I'm excited. I always have a clip just like on my bag as a just in case. I need to get used to taking this bag instead of this bag because this bag is like my go-to obviously. After organizing my purse and everything like that, I think I'm going to take a break. I'm pretty sure I already took off my necklaces probably gonna put on some comfy clothes also i don't even think i showed you guys first of all why do i look like a literal cat burglar with this black shirt on we're gonna put a comfy shirt on but i didn't even show you guys that these slippers actually came in the mail trevor bought these for me for christmas and they just never came in look at them they're so cute they make my heart happy obviously a little tmi but does anybody else wear like bodysuits and when you have to unclip them and like you know does anyone else feel weird like <laughs> like putting your hand in your pants to unclip a bodysuit let your girl know so that I know I'm not alone I am pretty sure I'm gonna be doing a face mask later on so we can have a very chill night in I'm sorry it's so dark it's literally just because it's very gloomy outside and the only thing that's illuminating my face is the laptop but I wanted to show you the recipe that I was talking about that I wanted to do it's like a s'mores like bar recipe thing that I saw on Pinterest and I really really want to show you guys because they looked so good on Pinterest I have a whole bunch of recipes on here but I saw this and it just looked Here's so bomb. Our homemade s'mores bars. That's what they look like, and I just thought they looked delicious. So we're gonna attempt to make those. Probably not today, but another night. And I'll obviously vlog it because I know that you guys love when I vlog things like that. So we'll do that together eventually. I think I'm gonna take my little earrings out and relax for a little while maybe watch some youtube it's supposed to rain tomorrow so it's supposed to be like a gloomy-ish day that's why i was telling trevor earlier that we should wait to go to the movie theater because pretty sure it's gonna be raining i'm on the computer for a little while i'm actually editing the vlog you're watching right now but i want to look up like good ways to wash your barefoot dreams blanket because i have dupes that are very similar to barefoot dreams blankets if you're new i actually got them at sam's club they're amazing i'll show you guys them later i have two one of them i've had for about a year and then one i just got recently they're originally about like 30 dollars, but i got mine for 25 so i am gonna scour the internet and learn how to wash it properly because i want to get the soft feeling in the other one my original one back 
Let's see. We recommend washing on a delicate cycle in cold water with gentle detergent, no fabric softener. That was literally the reason why I bought fabric softener. Tumble dry on your lowest heat dryer setting with low heat, no dryer sheets. Air fluff or flat dry is recommended. Okay, so it says dry it like normal, just like on a very low setting and with cold water. So we're going to do that. This is my old Barefoot Dream Stoop blanket. Baby, it said not to wash it with fabric softener. Wash what? The Barefoot Dream Stoop blanket. Where's my other one? My other blanket. Right here? No, the oh, other one. Good. Is it? Yeah. We got a lot of blankets. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, this is the old one, and that's the new one. They're literally the same thing, just different colors. Let's wash this together, and hopefully it'll come out fluffier. Uh, there's stuff in here. I'm going to have to wait. We're going to leave this out because Trevor has his uniforms and stuff in here. These blankets from Sam's amazing dupes if you're looking for a dupe for your barefoot dreams blanket also they have a really really good one at target and if i'm not mistaken i think that one's 25 dollars as well just if you don't want to spend 100 dollars on a blanket which i don't think i would ever do if i'm being very honest here i just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me and for honestly just being my best internet friends i love you guys so 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 much i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i will see you super soon in the next one bye guys